Kristen Keith here with Steve Smith, head coach of Baylor Baseball. You guys just defeated TCU 6-5, the number one ranked team in the tournament. Last time you played them, they swept you in a series, and you guys only scored four total runs. Tonight, completely different story. You had three home runs alone, two of those home runs from guys who first home runs of the season. Talk about how well the bats were hitting today. Well, you know, that's, that's the way baseball is, and it's been a long time since we played them. We played them the first series of the season, and honestly, of the, of the three games, uh, you know, I think a two-to-one game, a three-to-one game, and then one that was, that was a blowout. So, uh, you know, we're a different team now uh, than we were then. Uh, you know, two of the guys that hit home runs today uh, are, are freshmen. And so it's good to see uh, those guys getting better throughout the season. Um, you know, it's what you hope to see. TCU's pitching staff is the best in the Big 12, and you guys were really able to combat against that. But you had some great pitching, especially from Brad Coots there in the end. What were you telling him towards the end of the game when he was closing out? Well, I just when, we, when he came in the game, I mean, Brad's a guy that's about a year away from Tommy John right now. Uh, you know, he's always been a starting pitcher for us. He's had a great career. He's actually a Baylor graduate already and in law school. Uh, so this is, a, you know, th there's a lot of things going through Brad Kuntz's mind out there today. I mean, he wants to get a shot at professional baseball, uh, but he also wants to win this game. And my, my, my caution to him was just don't try to overthrow. Um, you know, don't just just be who you are. And he was really good today. I mean, he's he, this the, he's been that good a few times, but there's also been a few times where he's, you know, he's been out of sync and overthrowing. But I was really pleased and thought it, it said a lot about him to be able to be that good today in this environment. Speak on Riley Farrell from TCU. Obviously, one of their best closers, mm -hmm. if not their best closer. He struggled a little bit today. How'd you guys handle him? Well, you know what? He was off. You know, so we didn't we didn't do much. We stood there. Uh, and I would say, you know, that's what Brad could have done. Uh, you know, those two guys are, are they're similar in that they're competitive. You know, they're they're effort guys. They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna give you everything they got. And you know, when they're on, they're really good. And you know, when you find a day like today when he's off, it's it's not it's not normal. I mean, it's rare. I mean, Riley's been really really consistent for that hard a thrower and that kind of a power guy. Uh, I, I honestly wouldn't, you know, I, I hope we don't have to, to play them again and see them again because I would think next time out he'd be pretty good. You'll see Texas tomorrow, a team that's obviously fighting to be able to continue um, to play in the NCAA tournament. They need to win tomorrow. <clears throat> What's it like playing a team with that kind of mentality? Well, you know, in this tournament right now, I don't, I think there's probably six teams in this tournament like that, which is very unusual for this, for this event. We've had years where we've had four, five, maybe even six teams come into the tournament feeling pretty good about their situation, and, and maybe there's two or three that are fighting for, for another opportunity. This is a different year. It's an odd year. Um, you know, so it, I think it'll, it means good competition. I mean, it'll, it'll be competitive. Good luck to you and your team tomorrow. Thanks, Thank Coach. You. All right, the Bears will play Texas tomorrow at 4 p.m. Stay tuned to the Big 12 Digital Network.